motherfucker. Make you stay up all night, leave your ass fucked. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me. The Nostalgia Negotiator. And I just want to show you guys a few things. If you guys watched my last video, you'll notice that I went on a long and extremely long haul. My first, uh, I mean, an extremely long hunt. My first in Japan. I got to show you what paid dividends. I got to show you what I got out of it. All right. So thank you for watching that first video, the toy hunt. Now to watch part two, which is my uh, my haul that I got from all the hunts. So let's, let's start out. Um... Why don't you bring it a little bit closer, camera guy? Let's let's start it out real quick. Uh, first things first, I picked up a K2SO three and three quarters inch fig. Um, it comes with like accessories, like a little Gatling gun or zip line or something like that. I really don't care. I just got it because I wanted it in this size, and my uh, Black Series uh, K2SO is actually in storage. I got this also on base, just so you guys know that. I ended up getting a uh, Captain Phasma. Everything on the back is written in Japanese. These were actually on clearance for like three bucks at the Toys R Us in the area. So there was a whole bunch on clearance. Um, they look like they kind of sort of been picked through. I'll get to that a little bit uh, later on in the segment. But, yeah, got it for like three bucks. Set that off to the side. I ended up getting a Luke Skywalker as well from the bunch. Like I said, these things were on sale, so um, I had no choice. These are a product of Takara Tomy Vice Hasbro. So... I guess the the it's a Karatomi affiliate of Hasbro within with um, in Japan. I think he comes with some type of uh, some type of jetpack or something like that. Let's see what else I got. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, here we are. I ended up grabbing two Stormtroopers, Force Awakens, uh, Stormtroopers, what kind of Stormtroopers are these? Forced, first Order Flame Troopers, so this dude's got like flamethrowers or whatnot. So I copped two of them, I didn't say any more, but I want to try to army build uh, Stormtroopers now, in, uh, um, in the small size, the three and three quarter inch. And in the uh, six inch. Put these down. And I found a Sabin Ren. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Uh, they have these in abundance out here. Leave a comment below if you're interested in maybe getting one. I can once uh, you know once I get established or whatnot, I can probably. Uh, go back to the store, see if they still have them. It doesn't look like anyone's buying them, but if you guys want one, you can't find them in the Black Series uh, 6 inch. Let me know. I'll see if I can find another one in this size for you. I also, in, uh, last but not least, in this size, I ended up getting a uh, first order TIE Fighter Pilot. I also have this dude in Black Series 6 inch. Let's see what he comes with. Uh, it seems like some type of hover chair. That's what it looks like, some type of hover chair. Alright, let's get into Pops. For those of you who are interested in Pops, the store on the Air Force Base on this island has Star Wars Pops in abundance. I'm talking about Stormtroopers, BB-8s. Um, they have Old Man Luke Skywalker. They have, they have a lot. Uh, I even think I've seen uh, some three, some C-3PO's with the red arm pops. So let me know if you guys are interested. They have them in abundance. Doesn't seem like anyone's buying them out here. Um, there's not that many hundreds, so that's good for me because I'm not competing with too many people. 
Uh, so I got this one from when I was still in California right before I left. I think I got it from a GameStop. Uh, Maz Kanata. Um, the box is damaged because of travel, so my plan is to eventually take her out of the box. I don't plan on selling her anyway, so I'll probably put together a shelf and put her on top of, you know, put her on my shelf, like have like a little display going on. Next up, I got this last night, this BB-8. I think it was on sale. I'm not sure. I think it was like 8 bucks. But it comes in the series with the Chewbacca, the C-3PO that I was telling you about. I have this Captain Phasma, which is in storage. All these Stormtroopers right here, they have in abundance. So if you're trying to put your, uh, if you're trying to build your uh, Stormtroopers up, let me know. They have a Poe Dameron. I've seen that, and I've seen a bunch of Rays and Fins, Peg Warmers. I've seen a bunch of Kylo Rens. So BB-8, I only saw three of these on the, at the store. So let me know if you want one, if you're thinking about it, if you can't find it in your area, let me know. I'll go back and look. If it's not there, then it sucks, but I'll, I'll try to go and look for it for you. Two more pops to go. I got a Saw Guerrera. Got this one right before I left California as well. Uh, I think I got him from a Walmart. He's just sitting there by himself. The box is damaged, but again, I'm keeping this. I'm not giving them away. I'm not, I'm, I don't think I'll ever sell it. I don't care. If it's like a thousand dollars, I'll probably still keep it. But the box is in terrible condition. Seeing as those in our luggage when we traveled, and they just threw everything on the bottom of the plane. So you put them in the light. See if, the, if you, that looks a little bit better. Okay, tight. Let's get it real quick with that angle. I just want to make sure that we get a look at the Mas Canada. And the BB-8. Okay, shelf. And last but not least for the Pops, I got a General Hux. Not really a fan of the character. He was only in the movie. I mean, he really didn't have a huge impact in the movie. But uh, I just got it because of Star Wars. And I'm trying to like have like a little Star Wars collection going on. You know, I'm moving away from from robots for a while and I'm going to Star Wars but once Star Wars is done I'll eventually go back to doing box again uh, so right here uh, my first cop for the black series um, is a first order stormtrooper stormtrooper officer I've seen maybe one or two of these things I think this is the last one on the shelf with the uh, uh, as an officer however I saw a red stormtrooper um, what was he? A black stormtrooper? Yeah, like red. a death. Like, was I, like I, think I, I think I saw it was a set of four, and there was also like stormtroopers from like the Clone Wars, like the different types of officers, like with the different colors, like the blue, the yellow, the red, the orange. Um, that was in a four set for going for like sixty bucks. So if you guys are interested in something like that, please let me know. Um, Next time I go to the store, they may not be there. So if you're interested, let me know. I also saw some Chewbacca's. Uh, while I'm on it, I saw a few Han Solos. I ended up copping this. Um, my son saw before me, and he was like, "Hey, Dad, look, Han Solo." I was like, "Okay, gotta get him." So this looks like the Han Solo because he's a little older from the from the um. What do you call that? Rogue, not Rogue One, but uh, Episode Eight. Because of his old age, so I mean, hey, it's Han Solo. Who cares? And as you can see, everything's written in Japanese. All right. Like I said, I want to army build some of these stormtroopers. So this is another first order snow trooper that I um ended up getting. They have these in abundance at some of the Toys R Us's. So if I end up going there in the next few weeks, I might have it in my plan to either get a to get a Chewbacca. If the Chewbacca's not there, maybe grab two more of these. They're thirty percent off, so I paid um it was like nineteen hundred yen, which is a little bit 
less than 20 bucks it was like 18 or 17 dollars or whatever in american dollars plus the 30 percent off so i think these were like 12 or 13 us dollars to be honest with you and the reason why is because really no one was no one was really buying them except like americans that are stationed here or something like that this is the darth vader emperor's wrath so this is him getting electrocuted by the emperor hence the purple face i guess that's what you want to call it i really don't like that i mean i'd rather have a regular darth vader but i haven't seen any they probably were in like a previous black series from like years ago but what i want to do is get some some paint and actually paint that straight up black so find some type of paint that's good with plastic and paint that black because I really don't like the little electrocution purple people eater looking thing whatever it's like yeah I don't like that at all so with that being said let me put all this stuff together real quick it's really not much of a haul. I mean, there's some pretty good stuff here. I didn't get a chance to uh, do get really what I wanted. I didn't see too much. I'm going to still continue to get out there and hunt and and and, uh, and venture out to see what they really have out here. Uh, but for right now, this is fun just to start my collection. Of, uh, I should be moving into my house in about a week or so, a week and a half. Once I do that, these things are going on a shelf. They're coming out of the packages. I'm going to start taking my figures out of the packages now. And uh, setting my little displays up for you guys. I got another haul video that I want to do. That's going to be separate from this one. So stay tuned. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think. If you're interested in me maybe hunting for you and, and grabbing something to work out a trade. Let me know. Leave it in the comments or try to um, email me. I'll leave my email below so that way maybe we can communicate with each other. You can also find me on Facebook, Stephen Vincent. You can find me on Instagram, Nostalgia Negotiator, all right, at Nostalgia Negotiator. Um, let me know if you need anything from me. Let me know if you have any questions. What is Japan like? What is the military life like? Let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. With that being said, I want to bring this video to a close. I got to go hit the gym. Alright, so Nostalgia Negotiator out. Peace. See you next time.